into your website. Oh, my face is just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How are you doing? I am doing well. I just got done filming my um, Wowhead Downtime Tuesday as well as my Loot Crate. I also filmed my Bark Box. I've been a busy girl and I'm still like jet lagged and not caught up on life from being gone all last week. As many of you know, I went to Memphis for St. Jude. Um, we call it a summit. It's when we basically plan for our big fundraiser, which this year is going on May 1st to May 31st. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm going to be the team captain of the Derp Squad. Derp Squad. And it's going to be me, Cheeb, Seriously Clara, um, and then that where a few other people were talking about deciding whether they wanted to do their own team or if they wanted to join my team, um, but it's up to them. I don't care. It's not about teams or anything like that. It's just about raising money for the kids, but I've thought about all these ways that I can, like, I don't know, like I learned, you know, I learned from my mistakes last year of how I can do better and how I can raise more money. I think my team as a whole raised around... 30 or 32,000 and then like my personal streams, which wasn't me, it was you guys, um, brought in around like 15,000 or 16,000, I can't really remember. I feel like I throw out different numbers every time and it's not intentional, I just can't keep track of anything. Um, but this year, last year I did a lot of, oh, if you donate, you'll be entered to win a prize sort of thing. And this year, rather than doing that, what I'm gonna do is um, anybody who donates $10 or more will get something, like automatically. I'm gonna do personalized signed digital photos. So you'll be able to use it as your desktop wallpaper or crop it and use it as like a cell phone background. Um, and I'm doing a custom photo shoot for that. Those photos will not be available any other way but by donating to St. Jude. Um, and I'm gonna dress up like a superhero. I'm really, really excited about it. I got like a mask and like this five foot silk cape and just it's all very ridiculous I'm very excited about it and when I when I do want to promote that to promote like oh you can get this by donating to St. Jude I'm gonna make a video of me dressed up in this superhero costume doing like you know, like, <laughs> random acts of kindness, like, nice things, but not really, like, superhero type things. Like, you know, helping people cross the street, or, like, carrying someone's groceries to their car, or picking up trash, or paying for someone's McDonald's, you know, stuff like that, nothing that's, like, huge. So that's, like, one thing I'm doing, and then I'm also doing, um, whenever my personal page, like my team captain page, reaches like thresholds like $1,000, $2,500, $5,000, you get it. Um, we're going to do like different things on stream so that it's kind of a prize for everyone as opposed to like individual prizes. Like I'm like taking suggestions but I'm thinking about doing like the chubby bunny challenge which will be like, you know, you shove marshmallows in your mouth and like stuff like that, like fun stuff like that. Like I don't know, maybe like take a shot of hot sauce or like cosplay on stream or do karaoke on stream. Clearly I haven't worked out the logistics, but you get it. Stuff like that that'll just be fun. I'm not doing the cinnamon challenge because that's actually really dangerous and I'm, I like have it, I have a hard time eating as it is. I'm very uncoordinated. I'm just, I'm afraid I'll be one of those people that inhales the cinnamon and gets pneumonia. So I can't do the cinnamon challenge, but you get it. You get it. Um, so that's going on. And then what else? And then um, I'm, really, I'm really excited about my team because there's a lot of cool people that are joining my team and then there's already a lot of really cool people that are all way bigger than me on the internet who have agreed to come be a guest on my stream to help me raise money like one of the days which is really awesome like last year I tried to see if I could get people to stream on their own recognizance, which is it's hard to ask someone that didn't like I went and met these kids like I went and sat through seminars and like learned all sorts of facts about St. Jude which I will bestow upon you in the future um so I have a lot of like personal experience and like personal reasons why this means so much to me but they didn't go through all of that I did so it's hard to get people to go do stuff like that on their own but this year instead I'm gonna have those people kind of bring their audience to me so that we'll just play games and hang out and I'll be able to talk a little about the cause and hopefully it'll be like a new market of people who are untapped for donations because one of the really cool things about St. Jude Play Live is that when they approached us about doing this last year they said the average age of their donor is like 69 years old so it's a very aging demographic of people who are donating to them and just for like some quick facts, it costs $2.1 million a day to run St. Jude and 75% of the money that they get is from personal donations, not from grants or corporations, but just from people like you and I. And believe it or not, the average donation is only $33.13. So it's not like you need to make a huge contribution to make a difference. Like St. Jude would rather see a million people donate a dollar than one person donate a million dollars. It's about community and helping and really giving back and 
the things that they do for the kids are just so amazing. Just, oh, I'll get into that another time if you haven't heard me blab about it before, but St. Jude's just a really amazing place. And like before St. Jude opened, ALL, which is like the most common childhood cancer, or one of the most, um, had a survival rate of only 4%, and currently ALL has a survival rate of 94%, and that's largely in part um, due to the research. That's largely due to the research that was conducted at St. Jude and the treatments that have developed at St. Jude. And St. Jude treats patients from all over the world. No family ever receives the bill, and that's for everything. That's for their travel, their accommodations, their food, their medical bills, everything. Like, they're taken care of top to bottom while they're there. I mean, they even have, like, dentists and hair, people who cut hair and like spa people, they have everything there for those kids and it's really it's really about treating the person like a person, it's not about surviving, it's about living and it's about quality of life and I just like, it means a lot to me, I just want to do as much as I possibly can to help and I just started really rambling, I'm sorry, just I get really feelsy about all this, so I'm really excited, anyways I digress, I'm really excited for all this to start because I have learned so much more than I knew last year and I feel like I'm coming in at a much better um, mindset like where everybody is going to be getting prizes and everyone is going to be rewarded by the success of the charity and I've got people like kind of bringing their audience to me to help and oh you know what else I'm doing? I happen to have this loot crate on my lap. This is not planned, I swear. <laughs> but um, I just opened my loot crate. <laughs> I'm going to do, um, for the entire month of April, so from April 1st to April 31st, all people who sign up um, for their very first loot crate with my commission code will, I will donate, all, I just burped a little, <laughs> I'll donate all of my commission to um, St. Jude for that month. So it won't necessarily be a ton of money. It's usually like, a couple hundred bucks, maybe more, but I'll donate all of my commission for uh, each new sign-up that I get in the month of April to St. Jude. So if you want to kind of contribute, that's a good way to pitch a few bucks towards them while still getting something really awesome in return. Um, and then I'm also going to do, um, like for, I don't know if I said this or not, because I started filming this vlog and then I got like really overly emotional. <laughs> So I decided to refilm it, so I'm possibly saying the same thing twice, and if I am, I apologize. But I'm also going to, every because I'm, I'm going to be a team captain, and for people who join my team and are having trouble fundraising, I'm going to do like 10 or 20 small donations to people on my team, like... Say I've got 10 people on my team who haven't raised any money yet, I'm going to go make their first donation of like $5 so that they're more motivated to continue streaming and maybe it'll their viewer or viewers or whoever will see that and be more motivated to donate. Um, so I should... I should be able to afford like $100, $150. We'll see. I'm not really sure because like I said, I'm, I'm moving in like a week and a half, two weeks. My life is kind of crazy. So I need to get settled in my new place so that I can stream in like a month. Ah! <laughs> But that's another idea I have for trying to help, like, boost donations. Um, and I don't know. That's, that's where I'm at right now. And I've already talked to a couple companies about providing me with some prizes. I'm actually super excited because I uh, last year I was able to give out a DX Racer chair as part of my St. Jude Play Live event. And this year, rather than going through them personally, I, like, got them and St. Jude directly connected and I think they gave St. Jude something like 25 chairs that are all custom embroidered with like the St. Jude logo on them to give away however they're going to give them away which is way cooler than just me personally getting them to give away like I'd much rather that kind of thing happened and like last year I contacted Origin PC about giving me prizes to give away on my stream and they were awesome they gave me like a keyboard and a headset and a mouse and like all this stuff and again rather than going directly through them for prizes for myself. Personally, I connected um, the CEO of Origin to one of my contacts at St. Jude, and Origin gave them like a beast computer to give away, which in my opinion is so much better than them just giving it to me to give away, because I want it to reach as many people as possible. I want it to impact as many people as possible, and so I feel like I helped a little bit there, but I'm, I'm mostly just happy about it. It's not about like me or getting credit for it. It's It's I like really just I'm so passionate about this. I just really want to do everything I can. I know like I think they told us they were hoping that we could raise like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year, like total for the entire play live event. But like me personally, I really, really hope that the total event can bring in two point one million because that would mean that like 
gamers would have completely funded a full day of treatment at St. Jude. And there are people participating in this event that have, like, like, I have, I mean, I think subscriber number is kind of a BS number. I think we've talked about that before. But, like, just to throw it out as a number, like, I have 330,000 subscribers. If each one of my subscribers donated a dollar, like, that would be $330,000. And that's not asking much of anybody. It's not... I, just, I think we could do it. I think we could raise, not me and you guys personally, but like everybody participates in the event. Oh, and it's so cool too because they're giving people um, hours for community service. Like if you raise $100 through the Play Your Live event, you'll get a letter that says you completed 10 hours community service for St. Jude, um, which you can use towards like, I don't know, college stuff or high school stuff or anything else like that. So I'm going to stop rambling though. As you can tell, I'm very excited. I will have more information about all this soon. I'm going to go. I love you all. You're my heads. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.